Well, 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 boys. Look what we got ourselves here. Finally got this bad boy in. Um, first impressions. That's what this video is all about. I've owned this truck for a whopping, I don't know, 12 hours. Uh, I did attempt to make a couple videos when I first got it, but I was so tired. I butchered it, so I said, you know, forget it. I don't need to kill anybody's time. Let's uh, let's do this tomorrow morning. It's almost afternoon here. So, there you have it. That's what she looks like in all her glory. Um, I was a little concerned about so much chrome. The front end isn't as bad as I thought it would be. But, man, those rims are just way too much chrome for me. Um, I like how they have these black accents. I really like this. I'm very thankful for Ram for throwing a little bit of black in here. Um, so yeah, there's so much that I want to say. There's so much that I want to underline. But as you guys know, I, I struggle staying focused. So let's just stay focused today. The first impressions. If you guys haven't watched my video, you get or my channel, you guys seen me having videos of my 14 with all the limited and so a guy like me that has the previous generation is uh fortunate to to be able to to have the next generation so first impressions there's things i like there's things i don't but um first thing that comes to mind i i mean this, these power running boards i care less for them they are comfortable but the part that i don't care about is i thinking about well in a couple years they'll croak out just don't care for them once they do i'm not going to spend any money on fixing them i was looking to if something really simple i'll keep them going but if i have to put money into them you know uh, i might as well just order the wheel to wheel so those running boards are going to get converted wheel to wheel sooner or later but that's depending how long they last this is something i uh really grown to i really like it i can't thank ram enough for not going with chrome i like little detail look at that I just love it. I love what they did here. I just like that, you know, bronze black looking look, looking color. I don't really like or hate this. It's it's in a neutral land for me. I haven't <laughs> uh, it hasn't grown on me one way or another. I haven't learned to hate it or love it a whole lot. So that's that. This thing could have been a little shorter. It just it, it sticks out like a sore thumb. I mean, it could have been whatever man it's all good as i said first impressions um that's critiquing it as far as positivity i absolutely love the sound system in here the sound system is just so nice it is clean it's clear it's crisp the sound system is a big plus the headlights they're very uh they they look good they're not like killer looking but their performance are killer what they did what they did with these headlights when ram said or their representative said uh we got the lighting covered they definitely got the lighting covered i had a 14 limited so i had the projector but it's nothing near as good as these you know absolutely loved it killed it um the biggest question that needs to be answered i will say this is a fifth generation truck and the reason saying for that your guys are going to scream paul it's just the eight pillars and up that are different guys the technology and engineering that went into this truck is far leaps and bounds of the fourth gen okay i really liked ram what they did as far as my quick look at this this looks like it attaches to the frame not the bumper brackets like the fourth generation did you know they got bigger intercooler everybody knows about a bigger radiator um they 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 focused on more more important things the functional side of things and I feel like the next truck that's going to be out, they'll focus more on appearance a little bit more. I'm not saying anything wrong with this appearance. I'm, just, I'm saying as far as engineering of the appearance goes. These rims, they're just stupid old school rims. Well, I, I don't like them. They're too much chrome for me. As far as the rest of them, uh, Ram lacks a little bit in their, in their fit and finish stuff. I don't know why it's not opening. I mean, look at this. This is nice nice and snug, right? This thing got loose, man. Come on, Ram. Pick up your game. That's nonsense. Brand new truck. I never loaded. I personally never sat on this tailgate, so don't be telling me it's deformed any way, shape, or form. I think these just are the wrong length. 
you know, I like the lights, everything is great back here. But as I said, important thing, this is a fifth generation. Now that I've spent a few hours, uh, well, first thing I did is I loaded up my family when I picked it up last night when we went out and had dinner. Um, you could you could clearly feel, see the engine engineering that went into this. So let me recap myself. What makes this thing a fifth generation in my books is the engineering that went into it. It's leaps and bounds better in a lot of areas. And I mean, the stuff that actually counts, okay? Yeah, they, these, these lower things, they are more convenient as far as getting in and out. But as a truck, I don't like them. Now, what am I really talking about? Going back to the lights. The lights are so much more... Um, they're just so much better. They, they work... You know, when they say they turn with the steering wheel up to 15%, you clearly see that. You know what I mean? You turn on your fogs, shoot, those things turn on and you could you could see a difference. It's it's a night and day. It's it's like the lighting. When they say we got you covered on your lights, they got you covered on your lights, guys. Okay? Unless you need spotlights shining that way or something, you know, to the side. I mean, even backwards, they got that little spotlight. And let me tell you, it's efficient. You know, I put the truck in reverse and I could hit my cargo lights it'll i think that's the only time it turns on well anyways i'm not very haven't done too much research on that okay, let me hang up this phone call um what's the time oh like the lighting absolutely killer you know i, I mentioned about the sound system absolutely phenomenal the alpine system was nice but this Harman Kardon is just kick Er, dude, it just kicks better. It sounds better. Everything's with an er. Excuse me, I know I'm very professional, quote unquote. You, uh, you grammar patrol guys, don't fall out of your seat now. I'm blowing up the comment section how intelligent I am with my grammar. But, anyways, so like everything's perfected that matters, okay? Like these door panels on a, on a quick glance, they're, they're, there's nothing really different about them, but they're better insulated. The old ones that have an issue with insulation, but these are better insulated. Like the cab is quieter. The cab is significantly quieter. The ride is significantly smoother. Like you don't have to sit there and drive it for hours to come to a conclusion. You drive it, first couple potholes, you're like, well, shoot, I didn't jump out of my seat. That's nice. You guys know I always compare, uh, complain about my Limited. I loved it, but it drove like a wagon. This thing doesn't. This thing actually has some suspension plate. It's nice. It's it's comfortable. It's very, very uh, well-engineered. And I'm going through stuff that I underlined. That's the whole point of this video. First, uh, you know, the first, uh, first thing that I noticed, you know. So, what really stands out is, is how they... Not the fin, fin and finish, guys. Come on. GMC boys. You might want to mute this, but GMC is just far back, man. Just forget GMC. Denali is a freaking joke. You guys know I own a GMC Yukon Denali. It's a joke. Paul, stay focused there. <laughs> fin and finish is just junk. Very practical, but you can't compete GMC when it comes to Ram. And I mean, both of these are American-made vehicles, but Ram's far better, superb on their quality. I know we'll see what the 2020 brings but anyways so as far as fit and finish um nothing nothing to dog on nothing to be uh glamorous about but they're not like gmc gmc is way behind gmc is not keeping up so as far as 21 century goes everything's there uh, little things i could i could probably mention i mean this is nitpicking i mean look how that goes you know it's not it's not as neat as this, you know, like how they have it all stitched and folded over. That's really nice. So little stuff like that, but stuff that actually matters. Everything works. And as I said, this pocket here, I started talking about pocket. I got carried away. I love the, the metal. I absolutely love the metal. I like how they took out the chrome, the straight up comb. That is just, I love it. <laughs> I love it, man. I think this is like in 2018, they called it titanium edition or something like that. I've... I wish they did this part too and that this is just good old and in the camera there's a tint to it but in real life this is just silver this is actually like bronzish darker whatever color so as far as the media someone i heard someone dogging on it um i have no complaints fairly responsive you know what i mean everything works that it's supposed to use common sense i mean this is this doesn't have a big old computer hooked up to it i mean it's fairly responsive for what it is i got no complaints you know um, 
entertainment. I'm not head over heels about this whole 12 inch. It does the job, it does it very well. It's very friendly, user friendly. Uh, I like it. This thing is all practical. Looks a little odd having a CD player here. It doesn't bother me, but it's like, am I really gonna use one? Maybe I could jailbreak something if it's not. Throw some DVDs in there, maybe have my kids watch something here. I don't know, we'll see. Look into it later. Wireless charger, absolutely love it, man. Found my my place for my wallet, you know that. The good old salesman, everything they show, yeah. They, they didn't lie to you. It's all the same, it's all, it's all there. Absolutely love the limited trim. I was a little upset about uh, them chipping out. It looks like some kind of synthetic material got used in the middle. But I'm like, I'm gonna get my elbow is gonna feel irritated, but then I realized that's not the case. I literally rolled my sleeves up yesterday and see how it feels. <laughs> but you got real leather and then some fake stuff here. Well, at least they're not trying to sell you leather. This is clearly not leather, and not they're not applying that it is leather. Um, so yeah, practicality, nothing really changed a whole lot, but ingenuity and fit and finish, it really did. Or excuse me, what am I talking about? Fit and finish. Not a whole lot, but as far as engineering goes, it is a better truck. What am I trying to show you here? I gotta look at the camera sometimes. So that's what the seats look like in a limited. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary. Very functional. It's weird how they have a what are they trying to do here? Anyways. So I, I don't really care about this whole thing. Does it, I don't know, it's cool, you know, heavy duty and all, but I, I don't really care much about it. Um, this leather, or excuse me, this wood grain, I guess, barbed wire, whatever stuff looks cool and all. Uh, not too fond about it. I sort of prefer, well, not sort of, I, I, uh, I would favor the, the fourth gen limited trim, just these inserts. It depends where you're looking at it, you know. I'm pretty sure, you know, on the steering wheel, I would like it more. And over here, I'd like that one more. But then when it comes to the dashboard, I think this fits better. So once again, guys, don't fall out of your seats saying I'm complaining or something. I'm just first impressions, guys. This is what comes to my mind, you know. I'm not a sales guy. I ain't trying to sell you nothing. This is my truck. I'm so happy to have a truck again, guys. I didn't have a truck. I own multiple trucks, but those are not my trucks. This is my truck. This is a truck I drive and no one else drives besides me and my wife, you know. Uh, as far as this, these inserts, you know, this mild-looking, not shiny... Um, not glossy fits here better so you know i'm not critiquing ram i'm just saying here i'd like the older style so in short forget this this really doesn't matter on the older generation i would like this part because it's a little bit thicker on those i believe it's a little bit thicker uh, nothing wrong with this just feels a little you know smaller um now from from this part down i like the steering wheel a lot more I like I like the fact that you could do this. You don't have to reach up here. You're driving. You could go through your RAM. Thank you. Once again, RAM, if you're watching this, thank you. Look at that, guys. You got two numbers there. It shows you what, what gear you're in here. I'll upshift. See? That's awesome. It shows you that one. Where's that one? That one is what your truck's in, and that's what you want to lock it out to. Awesome. Thank you, RAM. Um, I really appreciate you guys for that. As far as... Uh, you know the seats and all that it's the same cab nothing nothing fancy but i will still show you inside or the back side sorry guys oh i gotta throw my rims on there so there you go awesome awesome sound system can be happier um i did like the older flaps more they look more classy uh this looks more clean in a way more like usable because that you gotta unhook, flip up, and then shove stuff. And this is more user friendly. That's more fancy. Okay. Um, I don't think I've been. In... Oh yeah, I did. I did get me some auxiliary switches, so they gave me the wiring for it. Thank you, Ram. Um, very surprised. This is exactly the truck I ordered, and this is the truck I got. Probably same thing. Yep. Subwoofer in there. Yeah. Probably the latch on the side. My spring's a little weak, but I guess it'll do the job. So as far as the seats, um, I care less about the back seats. I don't use them, but um, they are, they're, they're fairly busy, okay? They're fairly busy seats. 
but as far as comfort goes i feel like they're exactly the same you know it's like the old limited you'd have just a cool looking piece like that on the side this one you got multiple pieces uh it might look a little bit too busy for some people like myself i don't really care for all this it looks fairly busy but as far as the design and, and the comfort it's exactly the same seat as far as comfort goes so as you guys notice i do not have the factory setup i don't like the factory setups they they just take up too much room i got me a bmw turnover hitch coming to my shop so today or tomorrow well today or monday i'll be in there oh, we'll get that installed so you know I, i've covered appearance i've i've covered ingenuity um engineering factor of it absolutely uh suspension to a na naked eye doesn't look different but it is performing different i can feel it we don't even have to debate that one um i believe i told you in one of the videos that i would put this thing on a hoist and show you probably the first thing i would do is put it on a hoist and show you the underneath i would have done that for you guys but there's a vehicle on the hoist right now so that's not gonna happen here in the near future i'm guessing the next couple days it'll free up i'll pop in there uh pick up the truck and show you the underneath talk about filters and all that so uh, as poor of a job as I did today, I stayed focused the best I could on first appearance. Um, now, I did engineer. Now, drivability. There's something I didn't mention. Um, this transmission shifts pretty rough. And for a guy that understands a little bit, I don't understand a lot, that understands a little bit of transmissions, it's very much on the fail safe side so what that means every time it shifts it's it locks up real quick it doesn't it doesn't sit there and burn through gears which is very good it's very it preserves itself very well it just doesn't let you burn through the gear now as far as uh, uh what was i gonna say as far as the engine performance guys the truck only has 51 miles on it i I have my own philosophy you just take it easy up to 500 and then after 500 you start reeling into it, and after a thousand you start towing that's my philosophy that's what i do fall out of your seat for all i care blowing up the comments saying i'm stupid that's what i believe in and that's what works for me so why change it why reinvent a wheel um so anyways that's that i did mention the transmission these are my auxiliary switches um we'll see how this goes but I have a plan for these three already, so it doesn't leave me with a whole lot. <laughs> leave me another three. So yeah, guys, that's that's more or less my first impression. I know I've made a video in the past saying I don't know if this is a 4.5 or a 5 fifth generation. I could now say this is a fifth generation. It's just not, hey, let's plop an engine in here and uh, change some cosmetics. No, it's let's take fourth gen as a whole. Let's see how we could put this engine in how we could build the front end and how we could redesign rest of it and better it and they so did they did a very good job the sound system was good they made it better the i never complain about my limited being loud inside they made it even quieter like shoot dude i was perfectly happy with that sound uh you know going down the road they made it even quieter as far as insulation you know i i, I heard something about these windows being acoustic filmed or something like that whatever they did as far as i could tell a little bit more ingenuity in the, in the panel so it quiets it down a little bit more and then uh, the window having a film oh yeah one of the first things i'm gonna do is tint this bad boy <laughs> it is bright in here boys um now so yeah man they they did that they when they told you when that guy went out there and dave uden showed you how they bettered and they and they, he talked about exhaust hangers you know it was a little cringy but they did they, they did everything they could. Now I understand why he mentioned the exhaust fender uh, hangers. Because he's trying to tell you guys. We looked at every little detail. And I'm the guy to tell you. They did. I'm an owner of this truck. I ain't a salesman. I ain't trying to sell you nothing, boys. Even if you wanted to buy this truck. You can't buy it. It's my truck, okay? Anyway, so. I'm on a back road. So don't fall out of your seats again. For, uh, I think from now on. Message from Taylor Brown. I'm hey, 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 hey. I gotta this uh, gotta unhook my Bluetooth, giving out people's. Anyway, so I'm on a back road here. Oh, that's something about the camera. Absolutely love it. 360 degree, and then the backup. 
Man, that's, that's awesome. Let me show you real quick. Closer, further, or excuse me, further, closer, and then you have up front. Yeah, that's the up front view, and that's the closer up front view. And then trailer, you know, all the shebang. You could do your sides. You could do that. So, I'm not going into all these gadgets, but while I'm here, might as well, you know what I'm saying? see how the tranny shifts it keeps the rubs real low uh, you know may, maybe that's why it's locked up oh oh guys something the rear end is a 373 indeed um you know i was going down the interstate i think i was turning 65 at 70 on my 14 i was turning a 70 70 72 i was doing about 1500 so yeah i mean it's it's not really pulling anything, but it's climbing a decent hill climb. Uh, I'm not really lugging it, it's just lugging along. What is that? 14, 13, 5, 14, 14, 5. Well, 1500. We're, we're pretty much done our there. But yeah, it, I guess it lugs itself in a way, but then the, you don't really hear the engine being under a whole lot of stress. So there you have it, you know? That's, that's what's up, boys. That's what's going down. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video getting very long uh in the comment section i do ask you guys what are some some uh subject focused topic focused videos you guys would like to see and i will bust them out the best i can i know a lot of you guys are antsy and they, they you guys want to see is this truck worth it is it is it better is it this is that i will do a separate video on uh fourth versus fifth gen trucks and what you know what are you really getting with the fifth gen I think a lot of it was uh, talked about today, but uh, I will for sure specifically make videos, a bunch of videos for y'all. Um, I'm excited. I know you guys are. Guys, if I came off a little down, uh, you know, my YouTube channels became this, become this little uh, family-based group of people, guys, mostly looking at the analytics about trucks. I'm going through a lot. You guys can pray for me. Please do. Um, as far as my voice being down, I am going through a lot. I am not upset about this truck. I'm not trying to fluff anything up. But some of you guys might be like, hey, Paul, you know, you really sound. And, and the funny thing is when, when I watch, sometimes when I rewatch the videos, I'm like, man, why do I sound down? Or what, what, was the, what was going on that day? Why was I so excited about something? And then you're like, it clicks right away. It links it to something. So you guys are very smart guys. You guys will pick up that. I'm a bit down. It has nothing to do with this truck. I'm very excited. I'm truly excited about this truck. Uh, just, you know, going through some personal stuff. So, no, no one's trying to fluff anything up or um, rose. What are those called? Rosy glasses? Put on some pink glasses for people. I ain't going to lie to nobody, man. You ain't going to fool nobody, that's for sure. Just the man's going through struggles through life like we all are. We all got our struggles. So, all right, guys. I got to shut her down. May the Lord bless you. May you all have a mighty fun day.